I'm here to tell you a story that my father has told me and has not wanted me to share with anybody until after his passing. Well, my dad passed away back in 2013 and I feel like it would be good if people know what he had to say. I know some people might not believe him, but he has been keeping this on him for a while and was never able to talk about it. He wanted to wait till after he passed so his life wouldn't be in jeopardy. My father was a part of a special military branch. He would never tell me the name, but he told me that they executed special missions. One mission that him and his small crew of five other agents were tasked to take down a pack of extremely aggressive wolf creatures in Oklahoma. Apparently, the same creatures had killed two people, several livestock, and were causing a bunch of havoc. My father told me that at first, he didn't think it was real and that they were playing a joke on him. The military knows these things exist, and they even have a special name, which he never repeated to me. They're not referred to, though, as werewolves or dogmen, as we know them. I can never get a direct answer from him, but I believe from what he's told me that they are a direct result of the military's doing in some way or another. Him and his team were sent out to Oklahoma. There is a discreet remote location that they were dropped off at that led right into the woods that they needed to be in. He told me it took them less than 24 hours to track these beasts, and he said it took a lot of ammo and the right weapons, but eventually they got the whole pack down. It took five days, and they lost two agents in the mission. He went on to tell me that these creatures were brutal and savage, and he almost lost his hand to having it almost bitten off entirely. He's had scars on his body and his back growing up my entire life, and told me he got those scars from this mission and he had never told me what they were from before. He was physically attacked and almost torn wide open when his partner shot this thing off my father with a 50 caliber rifle. He explained to me that killing these things was no easy feat. They don't die easily, and they could take a lot of punishment. He says they weren't animals they were dealing with. These are super beings. They were more intelligent than we could have ever imagined, and were outsmarted on several occasions when we tried to trap them and strategize. He said that after five days, and they had completed the mission, they had to rid the bodies, and he never explained to me how they did that. He said after they were picked up from the mission, they were told specifically about this mission that they could never reveal any details or else their lives would be in jeopardy. This happened back in the 90s, and so I didn't really find out about a lot of these details until close to him passing. Even then, he still wouldn't tell me everything there is to know and I wonder why to this day he carried so much of that information to the grave with him. However, he did reveal an interesting fact. Out where he was, in the area that he was hunting these beasts in Oklahoma, there were Indian burial mounds all throughout. What him and his crew discovered is that inside these mounds were what he described as staircases that led down a really long ways. He told me that he believed that whatever these things were, were guarding these mounds for a reason, and that they were coming in and out of these mounds from underneath the earth. Now, of course, this is just his findings and what he relayed to me, so I believe him.